Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a chamfered hull. Uh, this is something you'll want to do mostly for vertical hulls so that they come out better um, or just for the ease of getting a bolt or something through it uh, or even just for looks. Um, it's quite simple, all we do is uh, the cylinder command, ha the cylinder object has uh, it's got a radius value in it but there's also there's also a situation where you can use it with R1 and R2 which will define the ta radius at the top and the radius at the bottom so we're going to do a 20 by 20 by 10 mil cube put it inside a different statement. Now we want to put the hole through the middle first so we're going to do a translate and we'll put the little hash sign in front of it to make it visible to what not. Uh, so we want 10 by 10 by negative 1 and what that'll do is it'll put the bottom of the cube so the bottom of the cylinder through the bottom of the cube there so it doesn't so the two faces don't sit in the same space and cause you errors when you do an export okay and we'll make it a six millimeter cube uh, it's going to be 12 millimeters tall because it's sitting one millimeter through the bottom and we want to breach the top as well so there we go. There's our very unflattering, uh, very unflattering uh, cylinder. So what we're going to do is make it look pretty by putting FNs equal 64 in the top. It looks better. Okay. Now what we want to do is champ for the top of this hole. And we're going to do it with a cylinder. Which we need to we need to have the start of it sitting just below the top. So translate 10, 10. Now the cylinder's 10 mil high, so we want it to go say we'll go for eight millimeters, see how it looks. This is where the R1 and R2 come in. Um, R1 should be the bottom radius and R2 should be the top radius. So if we go with 6 for R2, so that'll be the bottom will be R will be 6 in radius. So for R1, R2 will be say let's go for 8. Sorry, uh, eight and eight millimeters in diameter, and the radius of the cylinder is uh, the whole cylinder is six in diameter. And then the height, we're sitting at eight, so we want to go above it. So we want to go three mil high. There we go, one chamfered hole. Now if you want more of an angle, you can just take the R2 value and you can make it bigger. There's a, another example. Um, yeah, uh, so that's how you do a chamfered hole.